All right, we are back. We have a new standard rotation, so we have a new standard deck. And I think this is probably the best one in the bunch, so we're going to start off with Black Green Rock. Just some good old mid-range value. So, uh, historical purposes, the deck started off with... Um, I've been playing decks that try to ramp into a Black Sun's Twilight to get back Gruff Triplets, because uh, that was fun. And Gruff Triplets is my favorite crapper that is very difficult to deal with without a board wipe or an exile. Um, and then also, I found uh, Lich Knight's Conquest, a card that I tried to use in the past, not very good, but when you have ways to ramp into it at the top of your curve, much better, thanks to the printing of Vine Reap Mentor. When it enters and dies, you get yourself a food token. Also, enter Case of the Stashed Skeleton, which gets you a skeleton that is suspected. And then, if you don't have any skeletons, you basically get a Demonic Tutor. Also, in the one drop, we have Scavenger's Talent. Whenever a creature you control dies, you get a food. And also, you can sacri whenever you sacrifice a permanent, you can mill yourself or an opponent. So, extra flexibility there. The last piece, you can also sacrifice some non-land permanents and get stuff back from the graveyard as well. So all of these enchantments are good on their own right, and they fit into the Lich Knight's Conquest, if you so desire. However, all of that is not necessary because you have a pretty sweet curve of good creatures. So we started with our two drops, our three drops. We have Glissa Sunslayer, fantastic first strike death touch, very difficult to kill, draws you cards, destroys enchantments, and removes counters. We have Clifftop Lookout, a 1-2 with reach, so it can stop some flyers for a turn or some small flyers. Also ramps you into your mana to help you get your Black Sun's Twilight or your 5 drops, 6 drops, 7 drops. What rock deck would be complete without Shield Red the Apocalypse. That's just going to win you several games. Then we also have regular old Shield Red, extra removal spell, and extra win condition. We mentioned Gruff Triplets, and I'm happy to be playing the Phyrexian Flesh Gorger again. It can come out as a 3-3, or it can come out as a 7-5. And if it comes in from your graveyard, guess what? You have yourself a 7-5. We have our uh, buff man land, Restless Cottage, 4-4. Four, four also gives you food tokens and does some graveyard removal on the spot. Um, black green lands, not too exciting. Pretty much uh, almost an even split. Let's uh, ignore the numbers. You can pretend you know the numbers. And then our sideboard. We have... Virtue of Persistence, a uh, top-of-the-curve way to also grind out some games. Also, early removal and life gain against those aggressive decks. Again, we have the utility of the Tranquil Frillback. Also, a 3-3 body that can do all or some of destroying enchantments and artifacts, exiling graveyards, and gaining you some life. Tear Asunder is a way to remove anything that is a problem, especially Planeswalkers or creatures that are very big. Malicious Eclipse, another way to slow down those uh, tiny aggressive decks in their tracks. And then lastly, we have Duress for control or anything that is uh, a problem for you for the low cost of one black mana. So there you have it, The Rock in Standard as I am playing it. Let me know what you think, and have a wonderful day.